Okay, so my other video, which I'm doing this for obvious reasons, um, stopped recording. I was almost done, and it stopped, and I didn't notice, because I was looking at something on the screen. So, if this doesn't go, this stops, then I'll just record it back on my phone. Um, my voice is tired already. Okay, I'm still kind of sick. This movie, which I really love, is Secret of Men. Okay, let's actually start it then. Um, bloop, there's Mr. Mr. Age is right there. Um, it's about this little mouse. Where are you? I, I hate doing things opposite because I want to go that way. Mrs. Mrs. Fr uh, Brisby. Um, it's based on a book uh, called Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, I believe. Um, like, I know it's based on that book, but I think that's the title. Um, it's about a cute little mouse who wants to protect her family, and her son's sick, and the fr she lives on a, on a field on a farm, in a brick thing. I don't, I don't really understand what their house is. Um, and her son's sick, so she goes to Mr. Ages. She's kind of grumpy old mouse. And, um... They get medicine, he's like, her son Timmy, who's the youngest, he's like, he's not supposed to leave, but the frost is like, once the frost leaves, the farmer's gonna rototill, so all the little fill creatures have to leave before that happens, so they don't die. Um, so she gets the medicine, but Timmy's not supposed to move, and she has uh, three other children who are right there, I think, where is it? That is Cynthia. That is Teresa. I know that's Martin. Um, they might be switched. That might be Cynthia. That might be Teresa. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, this dude is Jeremy. I don't remember if he was a raven or a crow. But he's played by um, Dom DeLuise. And he befriends Mrs. Brisby when uh, she frees him from getting tangled in the string. As you can see there, he's tangled up in a string. Um, she goes to the great owl for advice, which is kind of creepy. When I was little, it was very scary. Um, but it was good, and she goes to the rats, and she, it's like a, couple, a day or two between this part. Her first visit to Mr. Ages, and then the rats. Um, she asks for Nicodemus is what the older, what the great owl told her to do, um, to get help from moving the, the their home to the lee of the stone, something like that, which is the side of this big rock, um, mm. so the rototiller won't go through it. Um, he agrees to help. She meets a, a re she meets Mister Ages actually in the. The rats live on a thorn bush down in it, and um, she meets Mr. Ages, who has a hurt foot. And uh, I could try, Boop. just do it all like this. Um, and she meets a character, a rat who's very charming, called uh, Jeremy. I'm pretty sure that's his name. There's like five J names. No, Jeremy's the crow. Justin. He's Justin. Um, and he takes her name Nicodemus, and they also meet Jenner, who is this rat who is very, um, wants power. And very, uh, cruel. He wants to live off the humans forever. They steal little things so they can survive. But everybody wants to go to the Great Valley, which is a place where they wouldn't have to steal or anything. And she talks to Nicodemus, and he agrees, and there's this cat called Dragon. That cat right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there he is. There's Dragon. Um, there's also this weird stone that has a plot that is, like, magical, and only, like, a person with good, like, a good, true goodness in them can wield the magic of the stone. During her visit, I'm gonna sneeze. By the way, um, during her visit with Nicodemus, he tells her how they became 
what they are, how they're in super intelligent, I mean, rats are smart anyway, that they were captured with some mice, and I think it was like a drug testing place, or just an animal testing place, and, uh, that they slowly got more intelligent and Nicodemus discovered he could read the mm -hmm. sign on his uh, his cage that says the pool to open. So they'd meet nightly, this is more from the book, they'd meet and they'd try to figure out a way out with the other rats and the mice and they had their chance and her husband Jonathan Frisbee was one of the mice who was being tested on it got smart too and Mr. Ages. And uh so they escape. Um some of the mice don't make it. I think most of the mice don't make it. Um they make their way to this farm and uh they the rats drug the cat so they can go and through the house and stuff to steal. And it's discovered that that's how um, Jonathan Brisby died, is that he was drugging Dragon and he got killed doing that. Um, she agrees to do it because Dragon does need to be drag drugged um, for them to help her. She does it, but she gets captured. She does end up freeing herself. Um, but in all this is happening, there's a character called Auntie Shrew. It was a shrew with a stupid hat. It's one of those like neighbors who's like, I'm better than everybody. Um, sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. But she has a good place, but she's very like know it all. <coughs> and um, so she's taking care of um, Mrs. Brisby's kids. And uh, so the rats are starting to help, and Jenna has this plan that with all the pulleys and stuff to move the brick to the other side of the stone that um, him and his little minion that I don't remember the name of um, I cut the ropes and it's gonna fall on Nicodemus which does happen but people see and find out and Jenner and Justin the really suave rat um, have a fight um, Justin does win um, and they go to the Grey Valley and and but to move the brick because all the ropes are broken. Mrs. Brisby takes the stone and like it magically can lift it and all that and tires her out. And her family's safe. Um and you see the next year or the spring that Timmy's better. Oh it's gotta be like a week later actually. Um the kids are outside, everything's happy, um and uh Jeremy has all this string to woo like a mate. He gets tangled up in it, and there's like a line that one little kid says. It goes like, "Cause Jeremy falls down." And one of them's like, "Oh, the poor turkey fell down." He goes, "I'm not a turkey." <laughs> so it's funny. Um, Dom DeLuise plays Jeremy, who I adore. This is Dom Bluth. I love Dom Bluth. Um, Arthur Mallet, who was Toodles and Hook, plays Mr. Ages. Shannon Doherty plays Teresa, one of the little kids. Will Ween plays the brother of the little kids. Um, Derek Jacoby or Jacoby plays Nicodemus. Um, John Carradine plays the great owl. That sounds so familiar, but I don't know what it's from. This movie came out way before I was born, almost 10 years before I was born. 1982. I read the book when I was in, I think, fifth grade. I fell in love with the book. The book has a lot more information about the night, the, like, the, 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 uh, Nim and what went on. Um, but it's good. Uh, everything you should know about everything. Maybe I should Liberty Valley. Okay, he's an actor. Um, it's a good movie. <coughs> It's a sweet movie. There's a sequel. It's not as good, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's sweet. It's cute. It's different. Don Bluth liked mice, apparently, because Fievel or American Tail and all that. I'm just because the other one checked out at ten o'clock, so that's why I'm like ending it early, and we got like ten seconds left. Um, so as it just does check out, I'm gonna say goodbye. If it doesn't, I will continue. Secret of Nim.
find it rented, even though nobody rents anything anymore. Um, now look at what I'm trying to know what the hell happened last time. Um, video it, stream it, something it. Um, not enough people know about it. I don't even know if it's written in schools anymore. I mean, it's been 20, almost 20 years since I read it. Well, no. 15 years. Um, yeah. It's just different. Paul Shiner. Paul Shiner's in this. Sorry. Oh, Jenner. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jenner's really creepy. Okay. Well, since it kept me letting me go for some reason, which is pretty cool, you hold this up. Maybe I'll get a screen capture. I don't know. Where is it? It's over here. Bloop. Secret of Man. The Secret of Man. I love this movie. If you like Don Bluth and you've never seen it, watch it. It's just, it's sweet, it's cute, it's different, it's slightly dark, but there's humor in it too.